And in just 12 months, just 12 months, British motorists have experienced a 50% rise in the number of parking fines put out by private companies. Yes, according to an analysis of driver and vehicle licensing agency data, uh, a whopping 2.7 million tickets were issued between April and June. It's a, it's a stealth tax, isn't it? We're joined this morning by Barry, Barry Siegel, whose website, appealnow.com, has had visitors from an astonishing 156 countries. Uh, morning to you, uh, Barry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, um, but, of course... I, I say, unlike motorists who are being stung. Yes, I exactly. Um, the figures are quite astonishing. Um, every minute, 21 private parking tickets are issued. And every three seconds, a, par a private parking ticket is issued. It's absolutely astonishing. And the whole private parking system is completely broken. And the government needs to get a grip and sort things out. And I have several suggestions, which I'm happy to tell you about. What do you mean by private parking as opposed to public parking? I mean, this is, this is sort of what supermarket car parks and things like that. That's right, and private car parks and private land outside pubs and um, stores. As opposed to street parking, which is governed. That's right, which is governed by the, which is dealt with by local authorities okay. and is enshrined in legislation. OK, well, give us some of your tips then on how we can avoid getting stung or if we do get stung, how to appeal. Well, it's most important when you get a ticket is to gather all the evidence together and any photographs. Um, if you have an opportunity, go back and uh, take photographs of the signs and lodge your appeal with the parking company promptly. And very importantly, don't engage in rather um, colourful language dis describing your views on the parking company. That, that won't help you. Um, a, a sensible, straightforward letter with evidence is the key. Now, I have to tell you, the likelihood of the parking company actually accepting your appeal is remote. And your next stage is to appeal to an independent tribunal. And once again, we just follow those rules that I've said. You get all your information together, you send photographs, and you say why you shouldn't get the, uh, why the ticket should be cancelled. How often, in your view, Barry, are the parking tickets issued? Are they bogus? Bogus is probably too strong a word, although there have been cases where companies have been suspended because they have faked the timestamp on photos and other um, documents. Uh, what I'm saying is that many of the tickets should not have been issued. Yeah. After all, these parking companies are commercial companies. They're there to make a profit, unlike local authorities, which cannot issue parking tickets to make a profit. So you have that dichotomy straight away. The position is with the massive increase, 50% increase, uh, tells me that the parking companies have got more vigorous in making sure they catch every slight uh, error that a motorist will make. And that's why we need to change the system dramatically. We need to have an absolutely... Sorry. No, 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 sorry, finish your point. I was just... We, we need to have an absolutely independent single appeal body where people can appeal after the parking company turned down their appeal and that this parking body should be comprised of only lawyers and not only that that motorists should be entitled to attend or attend by phone or zoom or anything like that to put their appeal at the moment you can only do appeals by correspondence which in my view puts the motorist at a distinct disadvantage in other words, what I'm saying is if it should be very similar to the parking uh, adjudicators that local authorities have to deal with, and the system should follow that. There are other issues yeah. after that. Sorry. No, I was going to say, Barry, Sorry, what's, I... what, 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 where, who gets all this money? Where does it go? This is a bonanza well, the money for someone. Can... <laughs> well, bonanza, the, I've looked at the accounts of some of these companies, and the profits are as, absolutely astronomical. You could... Uh, run a small country with some of the profits there. So um, the money goes to the private companies. That's the end of the story. Right, Whereas so local authorities... Yeah, yeah local so authorities So the local taxpayer doesn't get any benefit? Not 
one single penny. Okay. So, um, Hate it anymore. Uh, Barry Siegel, thank you for your tips. It's important to maintain your cool, keep your evidence and uh, don't expect much in terms of appeals, but give it your best shot. Uh, really good to get your thoughts this morning. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.